Hello and welcome to a new player review. So finally today we have the newest additions to the uh, league SPCs for uh, Bundesliga and Liga Nas as well for team of the season. Uh, we have uh, here we have Otavio for the Liga Nas and we have uh, Christopher and Kuku from Leipzig from the Bundesliga which is the player that we're going to review uh, in this video. A uh, very nice looking card, a card that uh, pretty much everybody was expecting. I don't know if it, I think it was probably leaked uh, as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he has a 77 base goal card and uh, one in form to 81. So from the, that in form, it's nine ratings. Uh, so we have about 80 to 85 base stats and we have uh, about 250 in-game stats. Uh, so it's a nice boost. Obviously, the Bundesliga uh, SPC right now, the league SPC is very inflated. It's uh, close to 300k. Um, I want to say if you want to do this, you need to wait. Uh, if you want to do it properly, you need to wait until the upgrade packs for the Bundesliga expire. Uh, maybe after a few days or maybe after the team of the season, uh, the Bundesliga team of the season expires as well. So uh, this guy is a very nice card. Even his in form at uh, 81 uh, looks really nice. Obviously, you can't play it now. It's way behind the curve. But uh, at 5'10", with uh, medium-high uh, defensive work rates, it looks like a really nice box-to-box -box mid, or even as a CDM. So let's check out his stats. So we have overall pace at 91, with uh, 92 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. Uh, this is the best uh, differential you can get. You get one point ahead to acceleration, so he starts the run right away, uh, and he gets up to his sprint speed really fast. And it's really, really nice and really high pace for a center mid or a CDM as well. Uh, overall shooting at 88 with 90 positioning and 93 shot power and we have finishing and long shots at 88 which is not uh, um, terrible there especially for a CM I, for me it's pretty good actually it means that you can have good shooting without even needing to apply a chem style uh, his passing and dribbling are going to be uh, along with his pace the, the three highest stat overall 91 with passing uh, vision 92 and uh, what a short pass at 95 and curve at 93 are going to be the three best stats and going to be the three most important stats that along with his long pass at 87 uh, which is not low i think it's uh, at a good enough point where uh, it's passable uh dribbling is going to be at 91 as well like we said agility and balance at 88 uh usually these are the two stats that are low and uh, the new cards and need some um uh, improving that's why a lot of engines are being used but this guy at 88 and 88 I believe for me as a CM or a CDM it's fine you don't need any improvement there you don't need more agility or balance uh, what it might be a bit of a problem is going to be those reactions at 84 which is a bit low and composure even lower 81 uh, the only good there is going to be the ball control and dribbling at 91 and 93 so reactions and composure is going to be something we look for in the game uh, defending is going to be the lowest stat with 79 uh, interceptions and defensive awareness as well with 82 standing tackle and 80 slide tackle. So we applied the anchor because I want to try him in two positions. Uh, the first is going to be the main CDM position with stay back, so as our main CDM uh, card. Uh, but his interceptions are really low, like anything under 80 right now in this uh, stage in the game is not going to be really realistically is not going to be usable. Uh, so uh, we could do this or we could do the sentinel but again we're going to get the same the only difference is probably going to be in the strength if i'm not mistaken instead of plus five you get plus ten but the trade-off here is that we get uh, plus five in strength but we get those plus uh, five and plus five in pace so for me the plus five in strength for the pace is a good trade-off now the other uh, camp style is going to be another one that gives them plus ten in interception uh, that's going to be something like a guardian i believe or something like that uh, that gives him plus 10 in interception and plus uh, 10 in defensive awareness. I would try any other camp style uh, that doesn't give him pace because realistically he doesn't need any pace. Um, you don't really need it. So maybe that plus 5 more in interceptions might be good for him. Still though, we get some improvements there with the plus 5 to 84, plus 10 to marking at 89, plus 10 to standing tackle at 92, and plus 10 to slide tackle to 90. His physical is at 83 with jumping 75 to 85. Stamina is at 90 with medium high. It will be there. I think he will be getting there in the 90 minutes. I think almost there, uh, probably around the 80th minute, depending on how you use him. He might exhibit some uh, stamina loss that you might need to uh, substitute. Uh, his strength is good at 80 to 85 and aggression 79 to 89 as well. Uh, traits, no traits at all. So it looks like a really nice card, an interesting card. I was expecting it to come out, so I had all the SPCs ready. So let's go into a couple of games. All right, so here we go with the first opponent. It's going to be a La Liga objective team. 
but with some very, very nice players in there, especially that shapeshifter Marcelo and team of the season um, Ramos and Benzema. Uh, so for the first game, we're going to go in the 4-2-3-1 formation. And we're going to try out team of the season uh, Christopher and Kunku in the main CDM position with stay back and cover center instructions. It's it. So Bellarabi there has the space. Gets a muscle. No, good sir there. And we score 1 0. Nice. Ferdinand there. Goes in Kuku. Nice dribbles. Really fast, actually. Stops there on the medium work rates that he has on attacking. Doesn't push up. There we go. No. Yes, fixes that. And good sir inside. No. Good speed. Ooh. Good dribble there to avoid Marcelo. Last minute pass. It's a bit sir. Hold. Holds well. Gives a good pass to Nkuku there. Shoot. No, we get unlucky on the shot for Nkuku, but we get lucky on the rebound and we make it 2 0. And then Nkuku, instead of pushing forward, he goes back. He makes a great dribble. He shoots. Yes. Oh, no. It was a good shot there. There's Nkuku again. Tripling there. Again. Good composure there. Again. Nice. There's the pass. No, oh, terrible pass there. That was an easy pass. I don't know why he didn't make that. Come on, Nkuku. Nice. Good marking there. Gets in the way of the ball. Nkuku. Good marking. Yes, he gets the ball. Yes. Good tackle there from behind. There. Nice pass. A bit to finish. Nice. 3 0. Oh my god, how did that pass go through, man? Nice, there's Nkuku. Marking really nice. And that's going to be game. Alright, so 3 1 uh, victory. Uh, a good first game for Nkuku, but I believe that the main CDM spot with uh, stay back instructions uh, it's not the best place to play uh, this card. Um, we didn't have any offensive contributions. We had two and three shots on target. One of them was okay. The other one was completely off. Uh, 22 and 27 passes, 28 and 31 dribbles, uh, no crosses, and three on three tackles, which was really nice defensively. Burned the, mo um, the most stamina, but that was because I was using him a bit more than the rest. Uh, so it was a great first game. Let's go into another game. All right, so here we go with our second uh, opponent. It's going to be a nice Bundesliga team with... Uh, Mertens and uh, Inaki Williams representing their respective leagues. Uh, so for the second game, I switched the team a bit around. Uh, this time we're going to go again in the 4-2-3-1 and try out team of the season uh, Christopher and Kunku. But this time we'll play him in the secondary CDM spot with no stay back instructions. Everything is going to be a default. So we'll see how he plays into his own work rates. Nice goal there. There he is. There's Nkuku. Making a good ball there. That's is a bit slow there to react. There's Nkuku joining. Nice. What? What? Why would you stop? What was that animation? He like froze there. What? Nice. Give him the ball back. And we get scored on again. Get it? Nice. Again. There's Nkuku. What? Nkuku, I said. Shoot. Oh, terrible shot. No power, nothing there. Why? Go. Nice. Nice, and Kuku. He makes a steal there. There we go. Again. Shoot. Oh my god. And Kuku with a great corner now. Come on, give it to me. No. Get it now. There. There's Ken. Again. Get it. Nice. Got it. Cuckoo. Shoot. Oh my god, game. Please don't do this crap. Go again. There's a cuckoo. Bring it. Nice. Mares, don't miss now. Oh my god, he saved. Because. Nice. Go. Shoot. Shoot. There it is. Finish now. Finally. Oh my god. There's 
Cool, cool. Good pass there. He's making a run. Yes. He keeps the ball. Good strength. Shoot. Yes, and he wins us the game. Unbelievable. On the 90th minute. Christopher and Cuckoo. Good composure there to hold the ball and a great shot on his left foot. No. There. Nice. And Cuckoo with a great tackle there and good strength. Nice. There we go. And Cuckoo, the man of the match. For me, obviously, this last few minutes and in the game, he played really well. But uh, he gave us the win 100% there. Obviously, he's a man of the match, 9.3. Um, and that right CDM spot, like we said, with no instructions. So he was playing, actually, he was uh, actually uh, going up uh, quite a few times. Uh, more than I expected with those medium attacking work rates. So we have one goal, uh, no assists. We have two and three shots on target, uh, 17 and 21 passes, 14 and 15 dribbles, three on three tackles again. Really nice on his interception, obviously minus seven fitness. I played all out attack after the 70th minute or 65th minute, something like that. So his stamina was burned, but I didn't think that he had any problems uh, using his stamina or for the 90 minutes. So it was an excellent game. Let's go back and have a look at this card. So we have Christopher and Cuckoo from the Bundesliga League SBC team of the season from uh, Leipzig. I really like this card. Uh, in the first game, I played him in the 4-2-3-1 formation at the left CDM spot where I play my stay back CDM uh, that I use to defend. And then um, for the first game there, I realized in the first half that probably this is not where he's best utilized. Uh, he does have defensive capabilities. He was three on three on his tackles and a lot of interceptions. Uh, what was standing out was actually his marking. And even though interceptions and uh, defensive awareness are at 79, his marking felt really nice. Uh, his positioning was really, really, really uh, good in the field. Um, but I realized that the halftime in the first game that it wasn't the best spot to play him in. Uh, although he was there uh, to assist in defense, um, I needed to put him somewhere else. So for the second game, we played the, again the 4-2-3-1, but this time I played him in the right CDM spot. And that's where I played a mostly CM, a box-to-box -box mid uh, with no instructions, where I want him to have some defensive capabilities and also uh, offensive um, stats where he can uh, make the runs and assist in, in, in attacking, uh, making passes or even getting into positions to score. And I believe this is where this card is best suited for in a CM box to box uh, as a right CM and a 442 flat or 41212 narrow or in this uh, 4231 that I played uh, uh, with two CDMs but playing with no instructions, even though he has high defensive and medium attacking uh, work rates. His attacking uh, runs were amazing. I was even surprised at some of them. I wasn't expecting him to be making those runs uh, with his work rates. And uh, the best thing about it is he's uh, running back because he has amazing speed. He tracks back really fast to assist in defense. And even in the second game, he still had uh, three on three defensive tackles. Uh, so his interceptions were fine. His standing tackle was fine. Uh, the only thing maybe he might be missing a bit of strength so maybe the anchor is not the best uh, chem style if you want to play him in a CM role and a box to box mid role or like I played them in the CDM role but with no stay back instructions and a more free role. You want to play something else there. Maybe something that will give him a bit more strength and aggression uh, to be more of a presence in the midfield. But other than that, I really like this card. I don't like him at 300k that the price is now. Uh, the Bundesliga uh, League SPC is inflated. I will wait. If possible, I will wait until the Bundesliga upgrade uh, SPCs are expiring. And that's when all the uh, gold cards were going to go down to their normal price. And also by then, uh, what I would do is buy um, open bronze packs and then use the bronze cards to put in the uh, limited time uh, silver upgrades where you can get three silver cards instead of the normal two and try to get uh, a few Paderborn or Frankfurt players from there because most of the Paderborn players that you need, the silver cards are gonna be like 10K. So if you manage to get two, three, four cards out of those upgrades, um, you're gonna save so much money and then you can bring it down to 100K or even below that if you have the time and patience to open a lot of bronze packs and use that time now to put them in that silver upgrade 
because that's going to be on for a limited time, maybe two, three, four days. I don't remember exactly how long that is. And it gives you one extra silver card. So if you do that enough, I did that in the past week and I managed to get, I think, uh, I think I managed to get four or five Paderborn players in there and uh, three Frankfurt players. So I saved a lot of coins doing that. So if you do that and you save a lot of coins and you manage to bring it under 200k because the Paderborn and Frankfurt SPCs are going to be the main issue. They cost like maybe 100k combined. Uh, then this card is very uh, good value for money for me. And if you can do it for under 200k, uh, then I would definitely recommend this SPC. So this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.